You know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. And on top of that, it's time to notice something new. So I was going here. I was going to go to statistics, run history. I was going to check this out before uh, I started streaming to just, like, get ready. And then I noticed, I'm like, wait a minute. I know these pictures. This is the, like, two slavers into, this is the arena fight. And this is the the book event. And this is the one that gives you writhe 100% of the time. And I was like, hmm, hey, that's a master of strategy and tools of the trade. And the potion lady. And the well, literally the card library and tools of the trade. I was like, it didn't even, it never even occurred to me that they've been reusing the artwork the entire time. And yet there it is. There we are. Here I am. Here be me. Okie dokie. Hmm. These are not magical fantastical options in front of me. We've got probably the shenanigans or rolling that relic away. Ooh. Excuse me. Yeah, let's move this a little. Let's get a little more intimate. A little more close. Hello. Five holy fights. Also, darkness, my old friend. Uh, who? Hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just making some whale noises over here. Practicing my whale noise making. In case I need to... Trick enemy submarines. Like in... I don't know if it was Hunt for Red October. I don't remember. I saw some movie at some point about like a submarine crew doing something. And then like one of the characters like likes to record whale noises. And at some point they use that because like they can hear each other through sonar because the, the sound reverberating through the water. And like at one point, they get kind of caught. Okay. So, can we do any shenanigans? But yeah, at one point, they get kind of caught. Um. And, like, the guy starts playing. Like, I don't know. He's got, like, recordings. And they've got, like, a radio or something down there. I guess, I guess they would have, like, some kind of radio for, like, communication purposes. But yeah, he just starts playing the whale noises. Anyway. Hold up, give me one sec. There we go. Oh, let's see. Can I do a shenanigan? Nope. Uh, nope. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. It's not a very strong maybe. What if I do that? No. I can do two elites, three bonfires. One of the elites has to be a super elite though. Or I can do two elites, two bonfires. With the option of a third super elite. It also means I don't have to go through four hallway fights before the first elite. Man, this is rough. All right, well, hmm. <laughs> I don't know if Ori was worth it. Oof. So it take cool headed genetic algorithm. Probably have to take the rip and tear over hologram. I don't think I can take three skills and ball lightning and then just be fine. If there were like one more good attack. But there is not. It's just rip and tear. Yeah, beam cells not not good enough. Alright, well.
Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. So I lose the lightning orb. But I've got more cards. Lord, sorry, I'm still waking up. I'm trying to... Which would be better? I'm gonna go this way. And see if maybe, just maybe, we can take three elites. Not bad. So far, don't have a lightning orb. So, you know, that's not good. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember to... Make sure I play that every every single fight if I can. One sweeping beam? What's our boss? Yeah, I'll take a sweeping beam, sure. Just having a little bit of AoE is super handy. Blocks for three, baby. Alright. It's time for some of that wake up juice. It's haven't haven't touched it since last night. Mm. That carbon dioxide, you can feel it going down your throat. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, tool cast this here. There should be a ball lightning coming up. Don't get to cast it. Neat. All my best attacks, right there. Are you fucking joking? Come on. He's gonna hit me for 22. I'm still only hitting me for 12. That's generous. Um, 7, that's 10. Yeah. I just got him. Is rebound any good? I don't think I need it. I think we've got enough decent damage here. Alright, well, not so sure about fighting three elites now. But that chop's gonna be better. Could I see, like, a good attack? There we go. I only had to dig twice. I was about to dual cast as if there were a zap in front, but no. It doesn't work that way. We got a different relic. If I punch him, he dies. Cool. Two cool headed. It's a bit of an early start. Already got added three attacks, added two skills. Probably gonna remove a strike though. Alright, T post for power. Power. Shit, got the money. How much money did he give me? It's like 150 or something. Okay. I can dig it. Two frost orbs. Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two frost orbs? Um, this is actually not a terrible block card here. So I have to just wake up next turn. Was that ball lightning, I guess? Gets rid of one of uh, the frost orbs, unfortunately. Maybe I don't play this app? Keep the option of rotating a frost orb next turn for extra block. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Well, <laughs> didn't get any any orb rotation. That's fine. If I dual cast, was that ten? To me, at like nineteen. Wow! All, all, literally, all the orb cards on the bottom. Okie dokie. Oh, should I just reshuffled without these two cards in it? 
I have been foolish. Oh boy, he sure is like hitting my face. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that's happening. If he takes six and six, I have three turns to kill him. I have four turns to kill him. Four or two, if I don't want to get hit again. Twelve. Set to twenty-eight. One more month and it's a sub baby. Thank you very much, Jennerdling. Thank you very much for the resub. Um, all right, so let's do some math here. Let's, let's be math magicians real quick. Even though I've claimed in the past that I'm not one, I have I have a math magician's tool handy. The scientific calculator. So, in for sixteen takes three. That's nineteen. That hits for 10. Nineteen twenty-nine. And I can do eight more this turn. It's Thirty oh that almost That like absolutely very kills them. That might be kind of overkill. He's gonna take another six here. Just knocks him down to 14. Yeah, we're only at minus two strength, right? So like I'm guaranteed to kill next turn already. I might have been able to just leave it at the dual cast and double block. Take three less damage. Cool. Lantern's not bad. All right. Oh, as much as I'd like to upgrade Zap or something, we have to nap here, unfortunately. You there. Mm, just nap, rip, waffle. I like it. Wow. There's some good cards in the shop. And relics? What if I take a wing boots? Could use like two charges. To fight a super elite though. Kunai's not bad either. Hmm. I guess it's not super great with this deck though. I don't have claw, I don't have FTL. I mean there is a claw right here, but Hmm. It's hard to say. The deck definitely has a bit of card draw going on. If I take the wing boots, I can't card remove. If I take the kunai, I can't card remove. Hmm. I'd really like these strikes gone. Which doesn't really jive well with uh, grabbing the kunai either. Wow. I don't think Sunder is a pick. I don't think Turbo is a pick. Do I take another cool headed? I don't know how good a skill potion really is here. I think I'll save the money. Alright. Uh, not going to be super useful in the upcoming fights, but... Uh, I say it's, it's immediately useful in an upcoming fight. Um, 
I meant more like the elites and holly f or and the boss fight. Might do something against sentries. And we got a potion anyway. <clears throat> Could have saved money and not gotten that cool headed. Hmm. Four cool headed is pretty good. What about a reinforced body? We're getting dangerously close to too many. Too many skills for right now. By dangerously close, I mean we're probably already like over the line. Especially given I only have 38 health. Got a Gambler's Brew, though. I'm gonna take a Reinforced Body. Our genetic algorithm is also starting to get, like, reasonably sized. Do I use it? Hmm. One, two, three... If I play all of the cards that are left in my deck, I will see six more cards. I will see 20 cards, like six more cards already in my deck. Over the course of the next three turns. I don't know if he's going to live longer than that. So I'm just going to do this. Alright, should be fine. At worst, I've got two more turns to kill him. Yeah. Block potion's pretty good here. It's like this potion becomes really good in Act 2. It's also not terrible against um, Guardian. I don't have any scaling in the deck. I probably still beat the Guardian, but this might prevent me from taking some damage. Though taking some damage in the Guardian fight doesn't matter that much since I heal 75% of it back anyway. It's more for Book of Stabbing. And or the Heart. Basically just trying to shore up my weaknesses against Gremlin Knob. Let's look at the cards first. Yeah, we're not taking any of these. Alright. Fought the knob. Fought the knob. Okay. Pretty good turn one. Definitely didn't need to Gambler's Brew. The real question is, do I zap or not? It's gonna take 18. What does that knock him down to? Knocks him down to 14. This knocks him down to six. There's a pretty high chance I can just kill him out right next turn. All right. That does it. Oh, I think, I think the cool headed already did it, right? Yeah, it increases. No, it actually, only did five extra damage. Static discharge. Well, static discharge plus electrodynamics is pretty good. It's also a card for book of stabbing, which I just dumped a potion for, or like dumped a potion that would have been good for book of stabbing. So taking the static discharge instead to. Help shore up that weakness seems alright. Do I fight a super elite or not? 
It's either Lag of Woolen or it's Sentries. If it's Sentries, it's like Static Discharge plus Electrodynamics is a lot of work. If it's Lag of Woolen, mm, if it's Lag of Woolen, I'm going to take a beating. But there's another bonfire right after. What will be the worst? Probably Max Health Lag of Woolen, I think. Maybe regenerating, um, regenerating sentries might be bad, just because electrodynamics might not really get through their shields very well or the the regen. Fuck me. <laughs> Got regenerating sentries. I found them. All right, well, that's going to be interesting. Basically just digging for electrodynamics. Oh, I'm competing with his regen at this point. Come on. I should use the compile driver. There we go. Okay, should be good here. Gonna take a bit of damage, but the Static Discharge is basically gonna dunk on these boys quite a lot. And then I win. War Paint Capacitor? C plus is really good. Having a Capacitor is also very nice for these two. Let's me just keep more Lightning Orbs up. Got a cool headed upgrade, very nice. I guess there are three of them in the deck. Versus four defends and a compile driver and a reinforced body. Okay, between reinforced body. Oh, I didn't play the genetic algorithm, did I? Reinforced body, genetic algorithm, static discharge, and electrodynamics. I think I can get away with not napping here. So then what's the upgrade? Cool headed's not a bad upgrade at all. Don't think I need the capacitor upgrade. Reinforced body is pretty good. Static discharge is pretty good. I think it's just cool headed. Hmm. This actually gives me one more damage over two turns than ball lightning does. Uh, let's do the math here. 7 plus 9 is 16. He effectively has 9 more health because of the shield, though. So, he's basically at 42. 16 plus another 9 is 25. So, I'd have to pull out 17 damage. It's doable, especially if I push some orbs around. Yeah, I'm going to play the Ball Lightning over the Rip and Tear, even though it's one less damage. Because if I get, like, cool headed and things that let me rotate orbs, it actually works out to be more damage. Alright, well, Capacitor is not exactly helping here. So I've got 9, so I need 17. I've got 8 plus 6. I've got 14, so I just need to pull 3 damage. Perfect. Nice. So I can use the genetic algorithm here. So, so as to make sure it actually gets used in this fight. See, it's 14. Yeah, that's just full blocks. I might not even proc uh, Static Discharge. Mm, no, it looks like it's gonna proc. Okay, that's fine. What do I get? I get six. 
If I get 11 block... This third hit hits me for four, rotates a frost orb, and that's all I take. That seems reasonable. There we go. Hmm, not the best turn for capacitor. I would have liked to also be able to fill up some orb slots there, but yeah, this one's this one's gonna hurt. 14. I take 16 damage here. Oh, right. He does other things afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, I seem to be having a little bit of trouble actually flipping him. Although I was blocking a lot in the previous turns. So if I do this, it gets me to 14. Perfect. I think I'm gonna turn this fan on. Lord, it has been warm. Okay, he's already down to 92, so I think I'm fine. Right, 11 block right now. Puts it to 16. Hmm. Once again, I take 4. He takes 8. It takes 8, plus 12, 20, I'd have to do another 40 damage over two turns. What if I dig? Hmm. Not a lot worth digging for. Okay. What would I possibly be sweeping beaming for? Basically nothing. Okay. So that puts him at 14. I just need to draw two damage and we're good. And then I hold this. Because he ends up taking more damage if I let the lightning hit him. Instead of letting it hit his shield. dies next turn. Perfect. I only lost, what, 24 health that fight? It's a pretty good fight. Cool. Hmm. It's pretty hard not to take Bias Cog here. I've already got orb slots. I've got electrodynamics. I've got three cool headed in the deck already. Versus Thunderstrike, which is like, eh. Yeah. No. Bias Cognition it is again. Eh. Excuse me. Immediate Snekawai. Do I want the Snekawai over the Electrodynamics? Or the uh, Fusion Hammer? A lot of one cost stuff. It's basically just Electrodynamics at this point. I think having a fourth energy might be better. Although that means I don't get to upgrade these two. And I do have the anchor. Which, uh, like anchor and lantern. Makes my turn one quite a bit better. Which means I might actually get the opportunity to upgrade cards next act. I think I'm taking the hammer. 
Okay, what do we have? We've got the Collector. Well, we've already, already got Electrodynamics and Bias Cognition. I probably want to hit a shop. Got a decent amount of cash. Who are we afraid of? I don't know if we're that afraid of anyone at this point. Electrodynamics... Kind of takes care of Gremlin Leader pretty well. Electrodynamics plus Bias Cog and like every other card in the deck. At least past the base cards, do pretty well against slavers. And then Static Discharge plus Bias Cog is also really helpful against Book of Stabbing. Like we've got a decent amount of card draw. We've got Frost Orbs, we've got Focus. I think I like just going up this way. Bonfire Elite. I get two bonfires. Not that I can upgrade anything, but it's handy. There's no way I can fight like three elites a sec, is there? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Hmm. There is, but I also only get one bonfire. Yeah. Anchor being a champ. One damage, baby. Can't become frail. Genetic algorithm is just going to keep getting better and better. I might not ever break through this, this 14 damage with my attacks. Immediately does so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're already full blocking here. So I just keep punching. All right, good fight. Maybe I do go for three elites. That does mean giving up a shop, though. Unless I go this way. All I can do at Elite Fights is nap. Or at uh, Bonfires is nap. Alright, I guess I'm going to this shop then. Well, that's a defrag and a glacier. Hold up. Math time. 87, 79, plus 100. Two s oh, I'm four gold short. I'm four gold short of glacier defrag card remove. Could I, like, sell a potion? I can't upgrade the defrag. That makes it quite a bit worse. Do I want to buy a potion? No, I think these ones are reasonable. Ooh, I don't have any two cost attacks. The other two are pretty good though. <laughs> if only I'd taken Thunderstrike. All right, so if I'm gonna take that much damage, then I'm probably just going left and fighting two elites. Got the Necronomicon anyway. All right, well, we need to find a way to make that work. Hmm. To Ancient Pot or not to Ancient Pot? When's the next time it's going to be really good? Either if I pick up a steroid or speed potion or here. It is, hmm, yeah. Getting hexed is actually pretty rough in this fight. We've got a lot of skills and we don't have like runic pyramid or something. Hello. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I should have just had faith in the deck. Because right there I would have put like three dazes in, but I also would have like definitely not taken any damage. 
Hmm, I don't know. At the health I'm at, I feel like definitely not taking any damage is pretty valuable. That full blocks, right? Yeah, that absolutely full blocks. And then he died. Game over. GG. The end. Hmm. An anchor and a boot sequence. Seems a little much. Don't think I want another compile driver at this point. Hmm. How much would I need to block here? I've already got 10 block. They're only hitting me for 23. So I'd only need to spend 2 energy on this. So that's what I'll do. Gonna have to be careful to try to make sure I actually play that genetic algorithm. That was not a great hand. Go. All right, cool. Won the fight. And not any worse for wear either. We have lost all of our focus at this point, though. Okay, good. If she'd healed there and continued to do so, it's possible I would have been in a bit of a situation. Two glaciers. I feel like I need more card draw. Alright. Do I have to nap here with these potions, with this deck? Oh, right. Can't upgrade cards, so nap it is. Uh-huh. Should probably play the Static Discharge. Just a hunch. Hello. So it takes one orb, giving me nine plus six. Excuse me. Which is 15. That means his third hit. Hmm. Alright, whatever. I guess I just full block it. Hmm. If I rotate this, I get eight block. So I want to do it like this. So I take a little bit of damage and rotate the orb to hit him. Might be a little late for Capacitor to be good. No. I'll just Glacier here. Oh, maybe I should have Glaciered first. 7 plus 8, 15. By Zap. 15. His third attack. Hits me for 6. His fourth attack hits me for 7. His fifth attack is the one that rotates the frost orb. Mm. What if I use the essence of steel? His third attack still hits me. It'll just only be for two instead of six. Mm. Like, no zero cost cards. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing I can grab that'll help that. All right? Gonna take some damage here. That's fine. We've got health. We've got two bonfires going up this way. Mm. 
That's where genetic algorithm comes in. Because, what is that? That's like 42 damage coming at me? Did I actually full block this? I did. Alright, he's down to 24. Oh, should have done that a bit differently. <sighs> We're kind of close with that bias cog, though. I don't think I want these. I want this. Okay, don't want to hit a shop. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Only hits four cards. Alright, sure. Still haven't found anything. Ooh. Still haven't found anything to use with the um, Necronomicon, unfortunately. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Okay. I have a feeling this guy might die quickly. Just gonna put that there. Just let it grow a little bit more. We're sitting at 12. That's just full blocks right there. That seems pretty good. Full block. Cool. Then I think he just dies next turn. Yeah. He's gonna take 15 damage minimum. Capacitor for funsies. Punch him. I already played the genetic algorithm. Don't want these. Nap again. 69, baby. Okay. Tons of health. Um, not sure how I'm beating the collector. I don't think the deck is actually quite good enough for that. Hello. I think I... F no, I didn't quite full block. Oh, I f exactly full blocked. Look at that. Hmm, can't attack next turn. That's no good. I really want to do this. Alright, I don't want to accidentally draw into bias cognition here. Is this the energy potion as well? Let's me draw into bias cog. Rip. And tear! Alright, well, I guess it just lets me punch him twice. Oh well. Still nine cards left in the deck. Good time for genetic. He still hasn't made me uh, frail at all. There we go. Perfect, perfect. It's like 18 damage. It's like you're just dead. You should be dead next turn. Yeah, another 15 coming in. Yeah, the problem is the collector fight is going to last longer than this. So this is not exactly a solution. Bottled Tornado. Ooh. 
Go for the ice plus. Should I put capacitor in the bottle? Or electrodynamics? Hmm. I feel like electrodynamics might be better to put in the bottle. The problem with putting bias cog in the bottle is I only start with a dark orb, and if I just like don't draw any other orbs, it's kind of a whole wasted turn of bias cognition. Yeah. I think that's the same reason I don't pick Capacitor. Capacitor also doesn't do anything until I fill it. Go for the Eyes is the only card in my deck that strips artifacts. Hmm. Which makes it pretty bad against anyone with artifacts. Which is a lot of fights. I'll take a Compile Driver plus. Oh, there's Static Discharge, too. I forgot about that one. I think Electrodynamics is better here. <sighs> I've already got two of the keys, though. And I think I'm just going to take the third, because I'm only missing eight health. Yeah. The Collector. All right, we'll see how this goes. Uh. What if I somehow manage to keep this dark orb? It only gives me four turns. It gives me like what? It goes up by 10, 9, 8, Seven, six. How much is that? 10, 19, 27, 34, 40? Uh, we're, at, we're at a 40 damage dark orb. Before I start going negative? Yeah, that seems really bad. It seems like it's definitely not good enough. Oh, I have static discharge up. This orb's gone anyway. Whoops. Necronomicon has done nothing. Blizzard would not have been terrible, I suppose. What about now? Still probably too soon? Yeah, this deck has, what, two glaciers and three cool headeds in it? It's like seven frost orbs. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> did I add cards to my deck, or are we still playing with the starting deck right now? Because, uh, yikes. It's like, I all, literally all of my card draw. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alright, that's cool. That's neat. No problem. Resummoning. Interesting. Bias Cognition is not in this current deck. Hmm. Getting a Bias Cognition off the top would be really... Really bad, so I'm just gonna... Punch him. I think we probably play it now. Alright, this is also gonna be our genetic algorithm. Cause he's, uh, he's hit me pretty hard. <sighs> 34, I'm at 40. Hitting me for 59. That's also one of the only fights. It's like, this guy doesn't multi-tech at all. So it's like, he can't get double value out of the Static Discharge. 
block for 14. Puts me at 54? Yeah, alright. That's not bad for being vulnerable. Thank you very much, Jenny. Hmm, digging is a little risky here. Alright, let's see. If I Glacier... What do I get? Get 8, 15, 25, 33. Take 26. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's very bad. And what if I cool-headed? I get 5... 13. Let's say I don't pull bias cog. 5, 13, 20, 30. I take 29 and go down to 3. What if I do pull bias cog? I get 5. These become 6 each. There's 4 of them. 29. 37. And I go down to 10? Hmm, that's not that much better. I think I'm just gonna go down to 6. Yup. Really, still no bias cog? There it is. Okay. Man, he's still got 145 health. He's only at half health. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, well that full blocks. Punching him doesn't do very much. Another one! 14 plus 16, that's 30. It's more because I rotated an extra frost orb from what I counted. Oh, we might not make it. Left himself again. I'm all out of focus. How much can I block for here? 10, 14, 22. Wait, I already have five. Hold up. If I defend, defend, zap. Yeah, I go up to 10 plus. 4, 14, 22, 30. Take 6 and die. Uh, I uh, don't think playing Compile Driver helps at all. 7. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 5. Yeah, that only gets me 20 block. I think. I think I lose. What if I pull a gl or a reinforced body? 14. Wait. 14, 20. No, that's not right. It's only 25. Wait, what? Yeah. I guess reinforced body is like worse than double defend here, isn't it? Since they're upgraded. Yeah, that's not helpful at all. GG collector. G G. Bit. Man, remember when I dumped a uh, 
fairy potion for an energy potion, and then I use that energy potion to get like 12 extra damage against uh, Chosen, because that's just how badly I drew. I remember. And the only way we would have won past that point is like if he spent, if he like buffed and then summoned, giving us basically three more turns to go at him. Upgraded card, random common relic, both great options. I don't know how good the boss relic swap for that defect was. It was like, it was alright, considering we ended up uh, using lightning orbs as a main source of damage. Just not having one at the start of the fight was... Eh. But I mean, we got to put good cards in the deck. Genetic algorithm alone might have been worth it. Ooh. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Uh, nope. Wow. It's either two elites, one bonfire, or super elite. Oh, this is three bonfires, though. Take a card upgrade. Just go, like, straight up this way. Hmm, that might be a little risky. Nah, let's dodge the shop. Take a second hallway fight. To ensure that I get some more cards in the deck. Hold up, I wanna... It's like, get out of the way so I can see where I'm going. Cool, cool, cool. Ha-ha! What you got? Mr. McSlimo. Oh, 10 damage? Right to my bone hole? Bummer. It's my favorite hole. Well. Alright, well, this is not going super well. I'd say it's going quite the opposite. Like, one damage short. It took like 13 damage here? Yeah. Got a swift potion. What is our boss? Definitely taking the rampage then. Ooh. Puts me at like 367. I have to spend 75. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Or 267. My bad. Hey, there's a battle trance at the store. What about a flash of steel? I feel like I should probably buy a damage card over a potion here. Alright. Even more money! Wow, Jesus. Alright, um... All I added to the deck was Flash of Steel and Rampage. Neither got hit with an upgrade either. Unfortunate, this could be rough. I guess I can go this- oh. I didn't even realize. Yeah, I can just go this way. And not fight a Super Elite? It does mean I miss out on a bonfire, though. Uh, just like, wake him up. Play the rampage here. So the real question is like, can I fight and kill a super elite? And I feel like the answer might very, very much be no. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. It's definitely not, definitely not now. On the plus side, uh, just like draw rampage and win. Just draw rampage and win. Just draw rampage. And win. Two rare powers. Just like grab Juggernaut, start building towards it right now. Sure. Got that battle trance upgraded though. 
Alright, I'm going to have to nap here. I've only hit two hallway fights, right? Yeah. So we got a regular Jawarm. As our third hallway opponent. Wait, can I kill him? No. Not even close. Nowhere near. That's fine. I'll take two damage. He's vulnerable forever. Trust me on that one. It's literally forever. I think you die. Yeah. Armaments upgrade. It's pretty good with the Battle Trance Plus. Headbutt's not bad with the Battle Trance Plus and the Rampage, though. Ooh. Actually, yeah, I think I'll take the Headbutt. What's in the box? Pen nib? Not bad. The knob. Rip. I do get to headbutt the rampage, though. No bash. Hmm. If I really piss him off. Alright, fine. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Gonna waste my pen nib here. Rah. 36 damage rampage. Too bad. Alright. Okay. Alright, game. I see what you. Wait. Oh, right. I skipped. I skipped this one because we got a bunch of money from the serpent. I forgot about that. Um. Hmm, I guess this is not super magnificent in this fight because of their shields. Just gonna, like, play the Juggernaut? Cool. Gonna go need to... Need to go refill that water soon. Rampage kills. Abash also kills. Goodbye. How good is Clothesline? It's alright. If I just like annihilate you. About to be frail, and he spends his first turn buffing. Alright, take five damage. He's probably going to attack again next turn, but I'll no? Okay. I'll no longer be frail, so oh, I could have headbutted the rampage. Literally doesn't matter. Not getting this pen nib where I want it. Hey, there's armaments. Let's upgrade it. Remove, upgrade, transform. I think we just remove a strike here, right? This is an interesting deck. Armaments, after you get the juggernaut out, we'll upgrade stuff and deal five damage to a random enemy. The real question is, am I napping or not? I've got a clothesline, a bash, a ramp. Hmm, I don't think I, I don't think I am. Between two battle trances, a headbutt, a rampage, a bash plus, and a juggernaut, I think this deck actually has a lot of damage in it. Upgrade the juggernaut. Let's see the juggernaut or clothesline. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out if I was right. Oh, bash first, duh. And flash of steel, put the battle trance back on top. Two battle trances. Alright, well. Fine. Excuse me. Wait a little bit on the juggernaut. Hey. Yeah, sure, I'll take one damage to upgrade the strikes here. Is Rampage in there? No. Can full block while dealing 14 damage. I like that my I like that my defense deal more damage than my strikes at this point. 
Um, yeah, just give me Battle Trance back, I guess. Bash is still in there. Keep drawing those two in the same hand. Hello. Wait, why do I... Oh, Sundial. It's like I've got a lot of energy. Rampage. Headbutt the Rampage. Okay. Hmm. Not being able to play the Bash more than like once has definitely slowed this down a bit. Well, if you look at that. Okay. Oh boy, he still has like 100 health. Smells bad. Hmm. Didn't see Rampage. So. What are the chances I can pen nib that Rampage while he's vulnerable? 46 becomes. 69? If I can do that, I might get him. If I play three more attacks, it goes up to six. And I play three more than that, it goes up to nine. Which means I have to... I have to draw the Flash of Steel? Okay, it's actually guaranteed. Because two of these cards draw me a card. So it's like, if I'm missing the Rampage, I can draw it. If I'm missing the Flash of Steel, I can draw it. So let me do the actual math then. I have to play three attacks, which means I'm not playing Clothesline. I'm also taking 11 damage. Do I want to headbutt anything? I guess I have to, don't I? I guess that means I just headbutt the... Well, I don't have to. Alright, so... 23 goes up to 46. Time and a half is another 23. Should be 69, yeah? So, I need to do 32 damage. So, that's 13, 26, 35. Don't have to headbutt anything. Worst case scenario, in case I did the math wrong, I have a steroid pot. Oh, actually, instead of striking, I can block a little bit. Oh, no, because this is 9 damage. Hold up. I need to knock him down to 69, right? That'll deal 7 damage. Oh, no. I need to play an attack for Pendib. Right. Right. Okay. Hey, Iggy Dota, how's it going? Oh, wait, shit. I need a 4th... Oh, fuck. No, I did need to headbutt. Because I need a fourth attack. <laughs> Good. Rampage! Alright, got him. I guess I didn't even factor in the fact that I was playing three more attacks next turn. We are. An Insomnia Field Knight. Yep. I know what that's like. Exhume? Exum doesn't actually do anything. Not yet. We want the feel no pains and the corruptions and the exhaust synergies. Does that mean I take a barricade now and like hope for later? It seems bad. But maybe I just hope I hmm. Do I really want a snack away with like two battle trances in the deck? I've got a sundial. Which actually procs pretty often with the two battle trances. And I'm actually, as my deck gets bigger, the chances of them being right next to each other is going to get smaller. So the chances that I actually get to play both of them once through a deck is going to get larger. So Sundial is going to be keeping pace pretty well. What does Barricade actually let me do? I mean, it lets me play a whole bunch of block on a turn where I don't actually need to block and keep it while also getting a bunch of damage out. Okay. 
Mm, Steel potion's actually not bad with a juggernaut and a barricade. I think I will keep these. Well, there's the snack away. I just take it. The, the other options are, are white bee statue and tiny house. Yeah, I think I'm taking the snack away here. Alrighty. The deck has begun. So I need the feel no pain, need the corruption. Do I hit two shops? Trying real hard to look for that. Our immense is also great with Sneko Eye. Minimum seven cards each turn. Yeah, at this point I'm less concerned about relics, more concerned about specific cards. I can do two elites, two bonfires if I must. I can also bail for a third shop. Alright. Uh, the barricade upgrade doesn't actually do anything. Hmm. It's hard to say no to one mana barricade. Wow, those aren't really worth headbutting at all, are they? I guess I should just hit him, though. Hello. Okay, I've taken like 16 damage so far this fight. It has not exactly gone well. On the plus side, I win. There's an argument for the true grid there. We don't have the feel no pain yet though. I am still currently blocking with my actual block cards and not with feel no pain shenanigans. I can afford Oddly Smooth Stone and Card Remove. Seems like the best thing to do here. Although, that means not saving my money for the next shop. Maybe I should save my money for the next shop. Yeah. Go down to 34. Man, that gives me a lot of time. The problem is when the apparitions cost like two and three energy. And then they're just like gone and out of the deck because I'm drawing seven cards a turn. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I can take it here. Hmm. It's very high variance with the Sneko Eye. It's like sometimes it lets me get through enough fights that I can put the engine together and then just like win from there. And my max health doesn't actually matter because I can like block for a bajillion and deal a bajillion damage every turn. But the other half of the time, I make it like here or here and just die because I can't play apparitions and I have 38 max health. Or 34 max health, yeah. I will skip. These are not the powers I'm looking for. How good is Paper Frog here? Eh. Probably do a card remove then. Is there anything else that's terrible? I guess Flash of Steel's not very good, but... Still just remove the strike. Yeah, right. Well, the deck's improved, that's for sure. Upgrade Flame Barrier. Yep. It's pretty good against Book of Stabbing. Hmm. 
Hey. Ho. How hard do I go on this man? I guess I should probably play this card, huh? Did I get barricade put up? I didn't get barricade put up yet. Rip. Oh, this block going to waste. Ten. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to do it like this. Oh. All right, I guess that works. Put the rampage on top. All right, well. Probably still just play the barricade. Oh, attacking right away, are we? Kill this idiot. Hmm. I really wish that flame barrier didn't cost three. I could clothesline here, I could armaments and see where that goes. That blocks for a lot less than Flame Barrier does. I think I'm just gonna play the Flame Barrier. Make him take 18. Another 5 damage, that's fine. Didn't even take that much. That's the first 5 damage I've taken this fight, right? Trying to see if I can make Pendiv do anything worthwhile, and I can't, unfortunately. He's already lost a lot of health, though. Really? That's unfortunate. Ah, crud. I was gonna try to headbutt the Rampage, and then Flash of Steel for it, but it's not in the discard anymore. Oh, that was my pen nib. God damn it. Okay. Um, seeing red's not bad. No, Offering, offering's just a lot better. Okay. Well, if I hadn't screwed up the pen nib, turns out it doesn't matter. Yeah, that was probably worth 6 HP. 6 HP and a potion? Maybe. Bag of prep. Alright, so we see 9 cards opening hand. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're doing barricade things. I think that also means we try to do entrench things. Yeah, I think we're going for the other shop. The cards I'm looking for are uncommons. Huh, everything in my hand is expensive. I guess I'm just taking 21. I could battle trance and hope, or I can just like hit him in the face. I should probably use this one, because I don't want to put the bash on top. Alright, good fight, GG. Mm. 
Yikes. As they say down south, yikes. Yikes. No juggernaut, no barricade in play. Do you get him with the flame barrier though? Now for my just just the defend in trench gave me exact full block. It's like now for my next trick, I full block. Blech. Don't ask me why blocking makes me Dracula. A lot of things make me Dracula these days. It's just the way of things. Sundial, you are not enough. I need more energy than this. So I play flame barrier and turn. It looks like, looks like what I'm doing. Oh, baby. Well, there's the barricade. Oh, hey, I've got five energy. Crazy. That's just enough for me to full block and do nothing else. Crazy. Thanks, Sundial. Hey, here are some cards. Do I want to try to headbutt something before I battle trance? And do I play the juggernaut? Let's see if I can get barricade. Nope. Okie dokie. I mean, I'm slowly killing him with Flame Barrier. So, you know, that's better than nothing. Hey. Oh, I get to upgrade Barricade. No way. Hmm. Get six block. Six block. Uh, can I just kill him? Mm, nope. I used to get more block out of this. Thanks, armaments. Trying to get free juggernaut. Okay, fine. Um, I do have barricade up though, so I can do this. Keep a bit of block. Got him down to four. Burning Pact? Burning Pact. Molten Egg. I don't anticipate wanting to put many attacks in the deck past this point. I'm just gonna take the key. Fuck. Well, Metallicize is not a bad power. For what we're doing. What about Rage? I have a... I have a this. I might have been might have been willing to take a bludgeon with a pen nib and a snekawai. Hmm. Can't afford it anyway. Some old egg would have just made me really sad there is all that it would have done. Yeah, we have uh not succeeded in putting any parts of this engine together. This engine is completely disassembled currently. Upgrade Burning Pact. Upgrade Metallicize. The Burning Pact is going to get upgraded incidentally from armaments. Hokey dokey! Alright, I'm going to go refill my water. Oh. This looks like fun.
Okie dokie. So I get a red mask. Losing 16 gold doesn't really seem that bad. However, if I beat them, I get a card reward screen. Hey, Enyo17. I like I like how it's become the de facto thing where every time I leave to go get a drink, or at least once per stream when I go to get a drink, someone someone does the fish noises. I like that that's become a thing. I'm kind of likely to die here, aren't I? I feel like I am. Like, unless I, like, get all of my powers and a bunch of block, turn one for, like, zero energy. I've got a pendant ready to go, but, like, nothing to... Is this how we're beating the champ? Just, like, building Rampage? Seems bad. I think I just have to lose all of my... Well... Yeah, his dexterity down actually matters a ton because we don't have the feel no pain or the corruption. So, take my money. Hey. We already, we already do the thing you do. You can't confuse me. I don't know what that is supposed to be Iggy Dota, but thank you. All right, pen of the correct attack. That's step one. Step two. Play a bunch of block that I'm not going to keep. Cool. Even more confused. What else is new? Could play Juggernaut Barricade and take three? It doesn't seem terrible. Sure. I also deal seven to him. It's a turtle? Ah, is that like Star Fox? Well, we're not like super worried about Sneko because like I already have the Sneko Eye. So like the thing that makes this fight kind of awful is already happening to me. Okie dokie. I think we won the fight. It's a coyote. Gotcha. Kind of looks like Star Fox from here. It's like very small on my screen. I'm just gonna like hit ya. I guess I got more damage out of the defend there, didn't I? Like didn't even play Rampage. Cool, I think I gained health on that fight. I want none of these. Well, I can't pull Feel No Pain and Corruption from this fight. <sighs> so it's gonna have oh, and they're both attacking me too. Take nine. A mad annoyed looking coyote. Is that that's what's that? I A Angus. Thank you very much, Inuo. Um, I'm frail. Don't have barricade. Getting four block at the end of turn. Just like gonna take another four. I'll just bash here. I A Angus is the name of an emote. One of Jorbs' emotes. Because there was the Jorbs Angus. I don't know exactly what the origin of the Ayaya meme on his channel is. But I know that's like a thing. And then he like merged Ayaya and Angus together into Ayaya Angus. And that's what you see there. Uh, this is already upgraded, so I'm just gonna hit him. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Pen Nib's almost like ready to hit somebody in the face. Do I like want to headbutt anything? I think I like just uh, gaining a bunch more block. Oh, hey. I guess I probably could have killed him, couldn't I? Instead of letting the, uh... 
Juggernaut Splay out randomly Cool, well, you're dead anyway, so Yay me Just gonna like cast some Trench Punch your face Say goodbye to Battle Trance Alright, well Yeah See, it's like, uh, the problem is it takes so long to get to this point. It's probably a lot harder if I'm also getting hit for like 20-something every turn. Got him. Yeah, I don't think the Stare Potion is actually very good here. Charity Stream with the Incentives. I thought it was older than that. Because the charity stream was only, like, a couple of months ago. Uh, is the IA, uh, was it not older than that? Because that was the only reason he put it as enable slash disable IA, uh, is because it was already a meme and people wanted the IA, uh, right? I'm pretty sure it's older than that. I could be wrong. Um, I don't think this deck has any meaningful upgrades left in it. Alright, watch closely and learn how to die to champ. So I might not even play Juggernaut here, because I think the plan is to just um, build up the Rampage. Maybe if I can get to the point where like I'm constantly entrenching and like get my block up into the hundreds. What do I Burning Pact here? Like, get rid of a Sentry's Bane. Mmm. Barricade versus Metallicize. I could Armaments then Barricade. Actually gives me one more block this turn. Neat. So I've got Barricade up. Hello? Frail and vulnerable. Probably actually be playing the rampage. Having only one entrench is also a slight problem. I don't think I want to. Oh, maybe it. No. Ah, <sighs> this is this is gonna be so tricky. This is one of the stranger decks I've ever tried to play. Fuck! Every time I see headbutt, I don't have entrench in the discard. That's good. Okay. Alright. The champ does give you a whole lot of time to fight him. Um, I think at this point I can just like get rid of strikes. Interesting. Double interesting. Alright. New game plan. Okie dokie. Every time. Opening hand. Every time. Yeah. It's gonna take him a while to get through that much. Yeah, the 33 times to execute. Um, I think I've got it covered. Why? Every time! Every time! Exact reshuffle. Oh, hey, it's headbutt. Oh, hey, it's headbutt. Oh, hey, it's headbutt. Oh, hey, it's headbutt. 
Did you forget about me? Headbutt? It's a, hey, it's headbutt. Neat. Entrench? Entrench off the top? Oh, baby. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Alright, well, we're full blocking now. There is no body slam in the deck. Wait, where the hell is Rampage? Okay, I was like, I didn't I didn't get rid of it. Alright, well, <laughs> even when I don't need the entrench, it's just like, nah, nah, we're just gonna sit right here. Whatever, I'm just gonna bash him. Ouch, my body. Alright, time for Rampage. Sheen Enigans. Ooh, just, just shy. Oh, hey, there's an entrench. Um... Should probably dig for Rampage. Oh, I found the Rampage. Just, like, keep hitting him, I guess? Cool. Well, he's down to 114. I did like over 100 damage that turn. That's pretty gross. Can you imagine if there were Feel No Pain Corruption in the deck? It'd be pretty good. Rip. I've played myself. Put, like, Battle Trance on the top? Sure. And then... Yeah. Oh, shit! I lost seven damage! I think we're fine. It'll, it'll take him a while to dig through this much block. In fact, I think it's literally impossible, because he'd have to do 500 damage before I draw in Trench again. And that's just, like, not happening, ever. Wow, I actually pen nibbed it. Didn't even mean to. <clears throat> Total accident. Oh no! Rip. Also, just like die. Cool. Well, I guess it was kind of lucky that um, it happened to be the champ because I don't think we could have done that against the other two. Two barricades. Does let me start the engine sooner, and like nothing else here is good except for like. Double tap rampage, but I think we're past that. Might take an emulate. Just clear the field a little bit. Sure. Ooh, that's a deadly combination. As in deadly for me. Running pyramid plus snack away. And before champ uses melter, if only. I think. It's just the black blood, right? And then I basically just dig. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Immolate. Yeah, I should have taken the Barricade. Because right now I just need to be looking for anything that makes the engine faster. Instead of other things. So I gotta go here. Once again, we're looking to go shopping. Oh, for a second I was like, <laughs> I like noticed I was on 300, I was like, wait a minute, what did I take as my boss relic? And I look here and I'm like, I'm like, right, black blood. Yeah, fourth energy would have been really good. Really, really good. Um, I like this hand, I think. I think I can get away with not doing barricade things here. Well... Fuck, that cost two. Immediate regret. Oh 
boy. Interesting. Okay, cool. Figured it out. Could have been close, though. Mm, yeah, I don't think I want any of those. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. The bomb. Mm. Panic button's a lot worse when you don't know what on earth it'll cost. What does Apotheosis even hit? It's like, um, two of these don't matter. It's like the defend upgrades kind of matter, but... Hand of Greed? Take Hand of Greed? I have a pen nib. Man, I'm starting to wish I'd taken that egg. Fuck. I'm actually gonna skip Apotheosis. Am I? I could definitely get more cards put in this deck. I'll take the Apotheosis. Go away, map. Blank map. Okay. Yeah, this was kind of the fight that I was thinking about when I took the ML8. And if greed only works on the last one. Fuck. <laughs> yes, I'm skipping the bomb. What am I exhausting here? Not flame barrier? Probably just this defend. Hmm. How many times am I gonna play this rampage? Not that many, right? Just use the hand of Greek. Oh. Oh boy, might have been able to prevent a lot of damage that I suddenly won't. Excuse me. This is bad. This is really bad. It's like 45 damage. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, it turns out our engine only actually works against the champ because he's the only one who sits there and just lets you do whatever you want for like nine turns. <sighs> While you get your engine up and running. Well. This is gonna suck. Could've killed this guy. Taking 14 less damage this turn. Oh, man. That three energy is just really rough. I can play the barricade. And Juggernaut. And then die. Thank you very much, Janardling. I have no one cost damage in my hand. I have one block card, it costs two. Oh, I want some tell signs. Can't play Juggernaut, defend, and just hope it hits that guy. Am I dead? Am I all the way dead? Yeah, because 
because this kills me. I just gotta Hail Mary off of this Battle Trance. Is there anything I could pull here? I could pull Corruption. Alright. Mm. Not Corruption. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's the end of the run. <sighs> oh boy, yeah. I shouldn't have gotten so high and mighty after that champ fight. I should have realized the only reason anything worked at all is because champ. Like I said. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jinnerdling. Alright, let's roll back around to the silent day. Yeah. I should have realized. I shouldn't have taken Immolate. Should have taken the other barricade. And then maybe not Apotheosis. After that, I, I still think I probably lose the fight. Hmm. Yeah, losing to Darklings in Act 3 is just like, eh. A bummer. But again, I went through, like, two whole acts looking for Feel No Pain and Corruption. Didn't see it once, so. Corruption... Corruption would have been the big one. And then Feel No Pain would have... But, like, Corruption alone wouldn't have gotten me all the way there. Hmm. These are not very good options. I guess I'm probably looking at a card. Two elites, two bonfires, but the bonfires are after the elites. I'm feeling fat. That's assy. Thank you very much for the follow, Don Chad H84. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. Are we against Hexaghost? We are. Alright. I think that's pretty much the only time I take like a floor one bouncing flask. This knocks him down to six. Hmm. Fine. Oh, hey, he just dies. Cool. GG. Okay. So we've already got a bouncing flask in the deck. Adding more skills sounds dangerous. What about a flechette? I've added one skill. Hmm. A bit better if you can see way more cards in your hand. Or with like Runic Pyramid or something. There's seven skills in the deck. Adding a whole bunch of skills to the deck seems kind of bad though. Uh, Gremlin Knob. Gremlin Knob is why. <laughs> if you're ever wondering why I'm not taking a particular skill and we're in Act 1, uh, the answer is almost always Gremlin Knob. Another answer potentially is uh, Shivs are really bad against Lag of Ulin. Like, it's not very good damage against Lag of Ulin at all. Yeah. Like, that's the also. Oh, like, yeah, nope, 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 nope. I'm not hanging a shop till there, so I'm going to say no to the s Serpent. I've never seen a, really anything with teeth like that. I was going to say any kind of snake, but I'm like, no, really, it's just like, I don't believe, I guess, this is a serpent, technically, but not a snake. I'm not even sure this thing's a reptile. I don't know what I'd classify it as. Definitely a monster. Wait, you've never seen, you've never seen Don Hertzfeld's? Um, why well, can't I remember the name of it? It's one word. It's not called cancelled. I can't remember the name of it now. Rejected. Is it rejected? Don Hertzfeld's Rejected? I think that's the name of the cartoon. Man. I think Siege showed me that in like... I don't know, 2005 or something. 
That shit's old. You only remember my spoon is too big. Yeah, that's one part. There are a lot of parts. There are a lot of good parts. Uh, my favorite, my favorite part is um is when I haven't. Oh, I could make an alert out of it, or at least the the siren part. Is the the angry ticks fire out of my nipples, and the guy's just like Mwah. he opens his mouth and basically like a like a air raid siren starts playing, and then a bunch of ticks fly out of his nipples and just start attacking children. It's really good. Oh man, that cartoon's so good. Uh, Piercing Whale is one of the best defense cards in the game. It's also a skill. I have not added an attack to the deck. Dagger Spray is good AoE. Take the max HP. Yeah. Man, you should have seen some of the films he made in high school. They were, uh, you know, they were out there. They were different. And now you are Poison Fueva. I never really looked at that bottle super hard. And having done so, haven't really, uh, gained anything for, for doing so. It sure is a green bottle with some darker green bits in it. Hey, you're double dead. Mega poisoned. GG. This nightmare is going to be a curse for a long time if I pick it. A long enough time that I might die. Wow, that was not... That is not the rare I want to see on floor 5. I could try to force it. Nah, I'm skipping. Yeah, Nightmare Bouncing Flask would basically win the, um, the Hexagos fight by itself. God damn it. Couldn't have gotten this last turn. I'm playing it. It just does so much damage. He's gonna get pissy. Let's see, if he takes 8, then 7, that's 15. I'd have to deal 20 damage to him? It's doable. With Dagger Spray, Strike, Strike. It's basically the only way. Fuck. Well, that's not what I that's not what I got. Oh, he's hitting me for 33. Am I dead? Can I outpace that? Nope. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you very much, J Nerdling. Yeah, I don't think the nightmare would have been a good pick there. <laughs> yeah. Man, if I'd gotten that bouncing flask turn one. I would have won it. Yeah, that's Gremlin Knob for you. You see why I didn't take the Cloak and Dagger? <laughs> Wouldn't have gone very well. It would have gone worse than it already did, and it went so bad I died. So. Random Rare Relic for a Curse. Upgrade a card. Hmm, nowhere to remove the Curse. Looks like we're upgrading a card. Ooh, if there were another Bonfire here, I could take three Elites. But there's not, so... Yeah, I don't think the Cloak and Dagger was correct. And I think the results sort of affirm that. Man, if there's just like one more bonfire anywhere up here after or before this guy. If I take the card upgrade, I could probably take three elites, but there just isn't. What if I just like... What if I just hope there are no hallway fights going through here? Hmm, I gotta get through two elites. Or I could take the safe path. Could go to these two floors and then decide where I want to go from there. All right.
No, would have come out of the screen the ring style. <laughs> At least one Mr. Clean commercial. Oh man. Oh man. The last thing I need is to see Gremlin Knob crawling out of the screen at me while the Mr. Clean jingle plays. Just break off his horn and beat him with it. These are all skills. Neat. Is hologram okay? The other problem with going this way is it's four hallway fights. Get a regen pot. <laughs> hologram, hologram zap. Really great against Gremlin Knob. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. It is a bird. Or a man. A bird man. He's got like the same color skin as the shopkeep does. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Is the shopkeep a reformed cultist, perhaps? Or maybe the cultists are all reformed shopkeeps. Okay, well, genetic algorithm is, is quite a bit stronger than hologram. It's next to a compile driver, though. Just like an attack that does things. I'm taking genetic algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I take one damage. don't think this is regen pot. What is that? Turn 2? Yeah, he's gonna be dead turn 3. See you later! Um, shit. Do I take Hello World again? Are we that desperate? I might be that desperate. Am I that desperate? I don't think I'm that desperate. Problem is it's slow, so it's like not even good against Gremlin Knob. And it can also give me skills. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's good enough. I am hitting a shop way up here. 125 gold. I'm not going to have very much gold for that shop then. Maybe that means I skip the shop? No, there's three events after it. Like, how much money am I going to have legit? I'm going to have like, like 15, like 40, 65. 14. I might have enough for a card remove and nothing else. Alright. Alright, Vajra's not bad. Vajra's a lot better here than it is here. As well. To you, I say. Block. I'm knocking over things. Bit. Hmm, interesting. Um, it's possible I was supposed to drink this here. It's possible I should still drink it. He splits at 30, right? So if I do this... Do I just wait? Take 6, goes down to 38. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm gonna hit him now. Prevent 18 damage. Alright. It's a pretty good call in the regen pot, though. Okay. Wait, one turn to get that one health back? He dies. He's guaranteed to die anyway, thanks to the lightning orbs. Even if I draw a hand like this! Still dead. Perfect. That's a pretty good potion. How good is loop? Um, not as good as, like, an attack at this point. Am I upgrading Compile Driver? Probably, yeah. I need some damage. Hmm. Hmm. Avajra. I might have to use the Focus Potion here. their damage is like just that bad strength potion would be pretty cool but it's not what I got yeah 
And Liquid Bronze. Sentries is pretty much the only elite in Act 1 where Liquid Bronze is any good at all. This is 20 damage. No, I think I'll save it. Silver Age Superman in Modernist Comics got pissy. Punch Reality. Yeah, I also don't know why that upsets you greatly. That's pretty much exactly Silver Age Superman. Like, to a T. I'm dying. Funny that! Ow, my body. Well, he's also dying, so... I guess we're even? Yeah, this is gonna be a self-repair. I still need scaling for the big boy up top. Yeah, that's that's all of it's like Silver Age comics were just that's where Silver Age comics is where you get the Adam West Batman live action television show. Is that that that's basically Silver Age comics in live action? Yeah, Silver Age comics were really dumb, like really dumb. Hmm, this is not a great mob bank unless I just skip the shop. Might just get the shop. Mm, good job, Ancient T set. I probably want to save this liquid bronze for Hexaghost. Because I currently don't have any plan for actually defeating Hexaghost. <laughs> Guess I'm punching. I mean, there's like a pretty good chance that I'm not making it to the Act 3 chest, so I wouldn't worry about that quite yet. Man, having a second orb type so that, uh, well, one, because like other orb types are great, and two, so that I can actually draw cards off the compile driver would be pretty super. This... we're getting deadly. I could die at any moment. Please, just please, Sarn. Jesus, let the lightning hit the back, man. Alright. I've got, like, four shots at this. If either of the bolts from dual cast hit him, he dies. If neither hit him, then I can still get him if, if both of the passive shots also hit him. What is... Livhi knows what quote it is. I think it's like quote number 11. Alright, well, a bit of overkill, actually. I, I guess I can't complain too hard. Hey, I killed him. Hmm, alright, it wasn't quote number 11. I'm a liar. Hold up, wait. I think I can see the quotes. I can. Where's the one with music notes on it? 14! It's quote number 14. That was close. Dark Orb? Dark Orb. Yes. There you go. Static Discharge. <laughs> like, Thanks, 24 gold, Ma Bank. Can't quite get Static Discharge and card remove. Mm, static Discharge works against the Dark Orb. And I've already got a Liquid Bronze. Rip Gold Plated Cables. Yeah, I'll just save my cash money. Cool. Yeah, this is why I went to the question mark. So I could, uh, so I could do a hallway fight. It's the exact reason. I don't think Mobank needs a bu buff, Cat of Prey. It's a common relic. More often than not, I find it gets somewhere between like 80 and like 100-ish gold. Maybe like 120. I, I feel like it averages around 100 gold. Which is fine for a common relic. Considering old coin is a rare relic that gives you 300 gold.
Yeah, sorry, there's the chat delay, Jeldon. So, this isn't a great turn. This isn't a great fight. I have 15 health. A genetic algorithm. Alright, well, that's a start. Oh, I hit him really hard with that lightning orb. Alright, fine. Can't actually kill you this turn. Okay. Down to seven. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, and this, and this. Alright, well I think I've won the fight. I can probably get self-repair into play, depending on what he does, I suppose. Yeah. So, overall, I might only lose one HP from the fight. Alright. Still a little dangerous loop, plus Dark Orb. Go for it. Upgrade the loop. Remove a strike is also really good. Then again, it's like, hmm. If all I want to do is, like, block and sit on a dark orb, like, how many of these am I actually, like, wanting to play a whole lot? It's like, because that moves orbs, that moves orbs. That goes away. That goes away. That moves orbs. Hmm. Then again, with a Power Potion and a Liquid Bronze. And the Dark Orb shenanigans? I might not. And Loop? Yeah, I think I've got enough damage. Well, not gonna do that one. Okay, I almost certainly have to nap, right? Just like, no way I don't nap. Yeah, this deck just like, doesn't block. So even if its first attack doesn't kill me, I have a feeling that the other stuff very much could. Drink this before I forget. I think I try to hold on to the power potion. It's a pretty good genetic algorithm. Two is fine here. I need to get that loop ASAP. Got it. I can take one damage here again. So I've only got two orb cards in the deck. It's like Zap and Darkness. So I think at this point I probably just like don't play Darkness. Let the Zaps do their business. And wait! Hey Super Quintendo, how's it going? <laughs> wow. That was in February? I don't remember that quote. Well, like I didn't remember it. If you told me, if you'd said that out loud, I wouldn't have put it together, but seeing it in text, I vaguely recall it. It's going good, that's good to hear. We're still slaying the Spire, same as usual. Or at least trying our best. Okay, we're getting pretty close. To, to the point where we can just flip it. In fact, I can probably just... Yeah. He dies exactly? Cool, good fight. Didn't need to nap, actually. <sighs> what about fission and upgrading fission? I just don't have energy shenanigans for the multicast. <laughs> Why do you wish it was from Smash Bros? They should have the Nestle Quick Rabbit in Smash Bros. <laughs> there we go. There's a suggestion I've actually not seen. And I've seen a lot of suggestions. Gotcha. If 
Fission doesn't like do anything yet. Multicast doesn't do very much. Oh, Multicast suddenly does something. Runic Pyramid. I get to hold on to Genetic Algorithm. I get to hold on to Multicast. Yeah, suddenly we can do some real Dark Orb things. Um, not very good against most of the Act 2 Elites, though. Well, it's fine against Slavers. Okay. So we can already defeat the Champ. Well, we can already generate the damage to kill the Champ. We have to survive to that point. Because Loop, sitting on a Dark Orb, blocking a bunch, and then multicasting him into the dirt, will just kill him. Have a bunch of money. Ooh. Guess I'm going that way. A lot of hallway fights. What are my other options? I mean, I do have a self-repair, but... Yikes. Yeah, no. Looks like we're going up to the left, so I probably want to hit this shop. So yeah, I think I probably hit around... Like 100, 120 gold with Maw Bank. The, um... The floor you fight the boss on and the floor you open the treasure chest, those actually count as two separate floors. Including, uh, for Maw Bank purposes. Five, six, seven... I think I've climbed seven floors with it so far, which is like 84 gold. I'm gonna climb another two. It's like 108 gold at a mob bank. It's reasonable for a common relic. Hello, lads. How are you? I can play the self repair whenever I want. Just, uh, be here, taking 21, no biggie. Twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Yeah, I guess this is the other problem, is, uh, this deck doesn't prevent any damage. I- I expect a swift death. Oh, cool, you're both leaving? You're just gone? You're just leaving? That's what's happening? Shite. Man, I really wish this were upgraded. I can kill them, but then I don't get to play Genetic Algorithm. Rip. Two Power Potions. Do I take a Cold Snap just because it's like a Frost Orb? Hmm, I don't know. I don't have any focus. Kind of disturbs the Dark Orb plan a bit. Alright. Well, suddenly I wish I'd taken the cold snap. Um, let's see. 216. 83. 74. Too much. Huh. I probably just skip the capacitor with a runic capacitor. Happy flower seems pretty good, though. Can't afford both of those. Okie dokie. Is there any area where I, like, don't fight elites? I just take a bunch of bonfires? Hmm. I can get two bonfires, one elite, but... I'm getting a third bonfire if I go this way, so I may as well. Oh boy, I wish I'd seen this before. 
for the shop. Man, it's so good. Like, none of my cards are upgraded. Problem is, pain stays in my hand. So... That means it probably just kills me. Yeah. Upgrade loop or upgrade multicast? Hmm. I think I upgrade the loop first. Especially if and when I get frost orbs, because loop will still do stuff with that. Do I use a power potion in this fight? God, I hope not. We're gonna find out! <laughs> um, the dazes don't really scare me that much. Let's move that to the front. Okay, cool. Fuck. Alright, no, I can multicast it next turn. I can just genetic algorithm here. Generate full block. Yeah. I was looking, like, multicasting it for three would have killed him just right there, but then I don't play the genetic algorithm. And, like, I can just use the genetic algorithm to block. Multicast next turn. Alright, I used to gain seven health from that fight. How good is Hologram? Mm. It's not that great here. We mostly just hold on to the cards and then play them. And then they kill. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just skip all of this. Hmm. Well. Do I take a cold snap now? Still probably not worth it. I was about to say out loud, man, I really wish this was, like, an actual event. And then I remember the event where if you don't have Golden Idol, you just, like, take 23 damage. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm glad it's not that event. The one that upgrades all strikes and defense would have been really good. Upgrade again. What if I upgrade self-repair? The real problem is Gremlin Leader, because this plan doesn't work very well against Gremlin Leader. Then again, upgrading self-repair also doesn't make me any better at killing Gremlin Leader. I might just die in that fight anyway. Okay, good, it's not Gremlin Leader. It is the Book of Stabbing. Do I use a power potion here, though? We'll wait one turn. Hmm. We're gonna take some damage, but I think I'll be alright. This is 120 damage. Okay, so he just dies next turn? Oof. Goodbye! Data disc. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. How good is Claw here? Go for the eyes is quite a lot better. Since it never has to eat up room in my hand if I don't want it to. And I can actually play it on turns where enemies are attacking. Excuse me. Yeah, we definitely need some damage prevention. Hmm, there's an argument to be made for that sweeping beam because of Gremlin Leader. I mean, it's too late now. A consume would be really nice with all these extra orb slots. I have... Two powers, okay. You like an extra four health every fight? That'll add up. Okay, cool. We didn't get Gremlin Leader, so that's a plus. Probably still gonna use one of these potions here. 
Fuck, if I block for 15... Yeah, buffer doesn't do very much here. Just take the defrag. And heals me for two. Oh, I should darkness orb first. The loop isn't super important until I get the dark orb up front. Gonna need to use both power potions. Fuck. Echo form would be great if I already had the dark orb up front. Because then I could double the multicast next turn and probably kill at least two of them. Or no, it would... No, that wouldn't work. Because I'd multicast the dark orb, then I'd multicast the lightning orb behind it. Mm -hmm. Well, this is going to be interesting. Right. <laughs> Literally just played the Echo Form. Forgot about the doubling. I dual cast, then multicast. I should punch him first. Yeah, I survive. Or I should see where the damage from the dual cast goes. Okay. So it goes one, two, three. I take 19. Oh boy, oh boy. He attacks every turn, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tiny's little dot. It's, um... I mostly... F I forget it most often when I generate it out of, like, creative AI or a potion. I forget it a lot less often if it's actually, uh, part of my deck. It's not game yet, NUO. I have Echo Form. Like, we're still good. Do I punch him at all? Not vulnerable next turn. Though I also have... Well, I might have Block next turn. Let's find out. I want to try to double the self-repair if I can. Um, Or I just, like, kill him? Yeah, 8 plus 5 is 13. He just dies. Also, uh, there's a strike in my hand. Alright, well that was... close. Mm, half of Equilibrium's usefulness is the fact that it lets you hold on to cards for a turn, but I already do that. This deck is terrible at preventing damage, though. Yeah, Desperate Times call for Desperate Measures. Peg of Marbles, at the very least, strips an artifact from all enemies, which will occasionally let me do go for the eyes things. And by occasionally, I mean, like, probably once. Hmm. Frail, am I? Yeah, I think we're gonna use this right here. Man, I've been offered Cold Snap twice. 
didn't take it both times, and it's like, they block for three damage each at this point. It's like really good. If I could gain health off of this fight, that would be sick. Oh boy. Where the oh, dual cast is in my hand. It's like, where the hell's dual cast? God damn it, I could have cast it last turn instead of self repair. Well, that's not great. 19 plus 13. Oh, that actually full blocks? Alright, cool, let's do that then. Try dual casting on a safer turn. Hitting me for 18. I can't block that. I really can't block that. If I dual cast, and either of the orbs hits him, times three will kill him. What about times two? No, times two won't kill him. All right, cool. Okay. Good fight. Now I just punch you and you die. I've already got self repair, already played genetic algorithm. Alright. Taking the cold snap this time. I was saving it. I was saving it till we got the upgraded one. I was holding out for the upgrades. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do me one of these real quick. Hope you don't mind. Getting the extra health out of Bird Face Turn is also pretty good. It's only four each fight, but. You know, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. Am I frail? I'm not frail. I want to cast the loop before the Dark Orb. Yeah. The downside, I am, uh, you know, just like. taking 14 damage this turn or something. Genetic Algorithm would have been really good either of the last two turns. Been pretty good. Um, hold up. This is going up to 13, and then another 14 on top of that. It's going up to 27. 27 times 4. So I can just kill next turn. So I'm just going to genetic algorithm here. Yeah. Ooh, a deck spot seems a lot better than a fire potion. Well, we do have one more hallway fight to go through. It definitely seems better than a fire potion for the champ. I don't know if it seems better. Hmm. Yeah, I'd definitely rather have decks plus swift. Am I that worried about a hallway fight? What could it be? It could be avocado plus rat? Hmm. I think I still do this. Do I take the Chaos Plus just so I can, like, put things in my orb slots? I might get a Frost Orb out of it. Am I going to need to nap twice? Unlikely? Then again, what is my upgrade? What if I upgrade Self Repair? Hmm, I guess I am running out of really good upgrades. Nap first. See if I get a better card worth upgrading after the next fight. Then upgrade then. Hey. It's a snack -o. Um, this could be bad, but... Shit, I have to put the Dark Orb there. Do I? Do I? Kinda do. Do I? Nah. We can multicast a Lightning Orb and, like, still dunk on this guy. Alright, well, I'm gonna hit you with one of these. Oh, actually. Shit, I should have saved that. Whoops. I should have used just the genetic algorithm and then saved the go for the eyes. Oh, free dark orb. Can't complain. I can full block like this, and this way I get to hold on to the one cost equilibrium. A 
lot of dark orbs. Three, six. I actually full block if I do this. I think I can just kill him next turn, right? Yeah, what is that? Nine. It's like 36 damage. Easy peasy. Play genetic algorithm. Capacitor. Still don't have any real focus outside of the data disc, but the data disc is definitely doing work. Okay. So if I have a capacitor, that might mean I want to upgrade the darkness now. Now I kind of wish I had a hologram. Mm, no block. Neat. What if... I shouldn't use the potion here. I can take a little bit of damage. Start that dark orb rolling. Whoa, we got plasma power. Okay. Five energy per turn seems pretty good. Self repair here. What do I do? Just punch him? Thank you very much. J Nerdling. Yeah, I think I want to start getting rid of lightning orbs. So I can uh, make room for casting darkness plus some more. There, I'll go down to five cards. Buffing again. Even more plasma. That's like a lot of plasma. Okay. This is going nuts. Twenty one, not frail. Just do that and be fine. Oh. oh, I can do really big multicasts. It's just occurred to me. Um, I might be able to like kill him next turn in that case. <laughs> Hold up. 83? 83 times 7? Yeah, I think I got him. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, champ. Wow, that uh, Chaos Plus. Do I want a creative AI? Hmm. Those extra powers have to sit in my hand if I don't play them. Also, I have a bird face turn, which is a counterpoint. That's eh, a counterpoint. Infinite healing. Every day. Hmm. Hmm. I need a energy relic. I could probably take a coffee dripper with bird face turn and uh, self repair. All right, taking creative AI. One of those defect decks, indeed. The ones that lose to uh, awakened one. Hmm. None of these are. None of these are energy relics. How good is this fight at fighting? That dark- this darkness plan, like, works kind of well. Then again, okay, the same thing is happening here that happened in, um, what, the, the Ironclad run, where it's like, I had time to set up. Though, it did pretty well, like, going through the rest of Act 2 as well. Because, like, with a loop plus, darkness, and just, like, one, and, like, a multicast plus, it just, like, I'm feeling fat. slap him really sassy. hard. Thank you very much for the follow, tiniest little dot. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, this deck has the self-repair. And it's got... See, this deck has... Sustain? I guess the other deck had the Black Blood, but... Mm. It needs more Frost Orbs, is what it needs. If I get more Frost Orbs, then it should be fine. I probably don't need Inserter. I have a Runic Capacitor and a Capacitor. If I had a Consume, probably take Inserter, but I guess i just take Black Star and then... Grab an extra two or three Relics over the course of the run. Um, ooh, he's all the way up there. Okay, well that gives me some options. All right, well, that looks like the path I'm taking. What if I, ooh, I actually kind of like this better. Yeah. All right, let's see if we beat the Darklings. Three energy, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Three energy does make it kind of hard to play creative AI ever. Looks like dual cast now. Yeah, no, I might actually just die here again. Holy fuck. It's 44 damage. Casual 44 damage turn two. No problem. No biggie. I needed to play creative AI turn one and then just like outscale them until the point where I could perfectly control the fight and then get a full heal. Yeah, I might be just like actually fucked. I shouldn't have played that there. Okay. Got a plasma. Oh no. Um, five. It'll go one. Yeah, that'll just end the fight, huh? I need to play that one to like kill these two. All right. Hold up, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna refill my water, use the bathroom, all that jazz, I'll be right back. Okie. They're becoming sentient? Wait, who, what? What's happening? Operation Popper for supper. Oh, I remember that. Yes, I am trying to get a full heal. It's gonna be rough. So I can play Creative AI. And then multicast. And then go down to 12. It seems like the best chance I have. Cool. Ooh, electrodynamics is not really the power I wanted to see. I do like frost orbs, though. Um, maybe I can Electrodynamics. He gets hit for 12. I have 15 health. Hmm. That's a problem. Yeah, I need to put more damage out. 
Shit. I'm barely surviving right now. Yeah, I don't th think it's gonna be defend, defense, self repair. I need frost orbs. I need frost orbs. That's that's basically it. So he's already dead. Fuck. Shit. Oh, they're all already dead. Yep. Made a mistake. So they're gonna die at the start. Oh, unless I rotate this orb somehow. Use multicast. Yeah, that would stop it. I have to stop like 19 damage. 13, 18. Okay, so do this. He survives. He's not gonna survive next turn, though. Yeah. Rip. Heal up as much as I can. It's a lot of energy. Nothing to do with it. Oh, I screwed it up. Shouldn't have played the electrodynamics. That's cool headed. Plus, absolutely taking it. Okay. I might be able to full heal off of this fight if I do this like absolutely perfectly <laughs> which does not seem likely um well there's no block there's a frost orb wait oh cool headed I was like wait what did I just play to get this frost orb and then yeah right just added a cool headed that's how I got it The dazes are not as big a problem. What is a big problem is this guy and my ability to kill him. Yes. Okay, cool. We got frost orbs out. A couple. I have no way of getting rid of this zap without playing the lightning orb. I should just play the self repair now to get it out of my hand. I was thinking it's like I could echo form and try to echo form the self repair, but it's like, no, 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 no. I need you, creative AI. I'm just gonna wait. I'm only drawing two cards a turn. Oh, they're actually, the dazes are actually increasing, not decreasing. Um, hmm. Whoops. All right, here, just like get all the attacks out of my hand now. I should just play this. Okay. I'm gonna just hold on to the compile driver. If I can get this full heal. Come on. <laughs> oh, there's only four cards left in the deck. The plan is to basically get creative AI and then just like let dazes and the powers from creative AI keep my hand stuffed. So that I never redraw those attacks and never have to play them again. The one attack I... Hello. The one thing I do want, though, is the uh, cool-headed. 
I guess if I get enough focus, it doesn't matter. Well... No, I don't need my hand that stuffed, thank you. Hmm, I guess I didn't think about this. The fact that my hand might get stuffed with the other powers that I actually just don't want to play. I will play this power. Oh boy, this is gonna- this- oh boy. Two heat sinks! Hey, Chaos Plus. Fuck. Can I get a calculated gamble? Okay, good. Didn't get any lightning orbs. I'll take this one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's attacking me. I'm full blocking? Yeah. Already full blocked. Cool. Okay. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're digging our way out of the hole. Only 16 more powers. Not even, because uh, I can stop 7 early. Because of, uh... I've already played the self-repair. Um, yeah, I'll just play that as well. Here we go. Now the machine is truly churning. Oh, baby. This is what I want to see! I'm not even drawing cards, I'm just adding powers to my deck. What, those were the exact same two powers. I draw four cards when I play a power now. We're getting there. What do I have to get to? I have to get to... 64? Alright, another Electrodynamics, not what I'm looking for. If I play the Hello World now, the creative AIs go off first, right? Yeah, that would be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice to just keep all the other buffs. I'm not even paying attention to what they're doing at this point. I probably should, just in case they both attack at the same time. Hey, room for more Frost Orbs. Even more creative AI. I need, what, seven more powers? Alright, we almost got it. Jesus Christ. Um... Yeah, sure. The power drove. I should, uh... I should just make sure I play that genetic algorithm later. Because I'm actually going to need it to block if they ever both attack at the same time. Oh yeah, I've got Echo Form. Okay. I said I needed 64, which means if I play two more powers, I've got it. But if I play two more powers, uh, like, this fight is over and I didn't genetic algorithm. So I'm actually going to use genetic algorithm here, play the other two powers next turn, win the fight. GG. Oh, baby. Well, sure. Now I, like, overheal? Rep. Rep. See you later. <laughs> I think I like the defrag. Wait, we are against Awakened One, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, I already picked it. That's gonna be a problem. Ah, uh, man, if I see a consume, if I see a consume, then we can probably win it. 
If I don't see a consume, I'm in the no-no zone. Hmm, I'm kind of like liking healing, I think. Just look for a rare relic. I mean, creative AI upgrade, defrag upgrade, capacitor upgrade. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good upgrades. Um, but I'm kind of banking on that whole healing thing. Well, hey, look at that. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I just need to draw a genetic algorithm off the top. Or buffer. Buffer works. Um, sure. Ow, my bones. I think he's going to die soon. <laughs> oh, he's attacking me? That's cute. Yeah, I'm full blocking this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I just flipped him with the lightning orb on accident. I am not full blocking this. Rip echo form. What if I... No, that won't work. Yeah, I don't see any reason to, like, take damage. The Stark Orb is just building and building and building. There's a multicast in here somewhere. Should probably block this, though. Um. Got it? Let's, like, get these out of the way. All the way at the bottom, of course. Where else could it be? Where else could it be? I didn't even pay attention to my block. I just assumed I had it because he was weakened. Goodbye! A shovel. Two go for the eyes? Yeah, right. Okay, it's these idiots again. Alright. I am probably gonna do the exact same strat. Take a bunch of damage. Full heal at the end. Because I have, like, no really good way to actually block. So, yeah. Oh, gave me Storm. Oh, right. That strat didn't work last time because I screwed it up. That's also important to note. 22. Okay, got an energy orb. I'm gonna use this multicast here. Probably should have played the loop then. I do need to kill them or something. Okie dokie! I still have the genetic algorithm. Oh, fuck. I would have liked that one. Interesting. Getting another 8, which means 16. If I can gain 6 block.
16, that full blocks that. Then I can buffer that. Okay. The fact that this man's still alive vexes me. Echo form seems really good here. It's like 26 damage. Yeah, it's like the lack of frost orbs and being stuck on 3 energy. Having a fusion plus and like four more frost orbs in the deck would be really great. Should have played the storm earlier. Here we go. Once again, can't actually kill this guy. Because all I have is that. Am I dead? Maybe? I don't think so. Maybe. I stormed twice. Hold up. Oh, right. I have Echo Form up. Hmm. That changes things a little bit. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. How much is that? It's not enough to kill both of them. Oh, that might be enough to kill both of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, seven. What's seven times six? It's 42, right? Shit, and then he dies to the loop? Alright. I guess... That's that. Came out. You know, I only lost like 25 health. No biggie, I need frost orbs. Do I go to another hallway fight? To try to look for frost orbs? What if it's transient? Hmm. If it's transient, that could be pretty bad. That could be pretty bad. Yeah, there are a lot of hallway fights that might just end this run. <laughs> I will lose strike. An upgraded strike? Yeah, I'll lose strike. Okay. I got 404 gold. I have dig powers. Hmm. I might upgrade that creative AI. Yeah. Getting creative AI is so important for multiple reasons. Oh, farts. Oh, farticus. Well, this is bad. I'm going to draw. Mm -hmm. That's not much better. I will wait on the self repair here. possible I should have drank the dex pot as well. Alright, this is a uh, losing time? This might be losing time. Still have the genetic algorithm. <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage! Thank you very much, J Nerdling. You would be correct in your estimations as to just how much damage this is. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's like, how do I make sure I'm able to, like, kill the daggers while also not accidentally killing her in the process? 
The answer is I think I don't. I think I just accept that I'm going to lose a bunch of HP in this fight. Thirty-nine. It takes. Th oh fuck! I'm going down to two. Hmm. Probably should have played that Dex pot. So now I'm going down to seven. Oh, and then the they kill me. Yeah. Then they kill me. Huh. Fantastic. What did this deck need? It needed a fourth energy. Way more than it needed a black star. It needed a fourth energy really bad. Yeah. I agree, Catapray. Not cool of them at all. These big stupid wiggly knives. Um. That is 50 damage to my noggin. I can deal 12. I can maybe deal 22 if both the lightning orbs hit this guy. And then I still die? 13, 17, 17 plus 7 is 24. Yeah, I'll definitely still die. Can Chaos Orbs do anything? If I get Double Frost Orb, that's 8 block. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Do this. What if I get double lightning orb? I'm still dead? What if I get lightning orb, frost orb, and all three lightning orbs hit that guy? Then I survive. It. Mm, nope, died. Wait, what if I use the dex pot now? <laughs> It's like, every turn I'm taking extra damage from not using the deck spot. 17. I survive at 1. Assuming, at least, assuming the lightning kills this guy. Alright. Please, please, sir, and Jesus, let the lightning hit the back man. That back man. That one. Right there. Yeah, fuck. Well, it didn't work. Uh... Face down in the purple smoke realm, I guess. Let's see. Do I want to? Do want to do one more run? It is four o'clock. Do have to work tomorrow, and the day after, which is normally my day off. Hmm. Hmm. I have to consider. I have to consider these options, as I would consider options in Slate the Spire. It's like I have to lose more health than normal because I have to go through an extra hallway fight. Your cooldowns can't keep me down, Matt. Oh, I mean, they kind of can. You didn't get your Tatsumaki. Also, that's not even my cooldown. That's just an inbuilt global cooldown on the Streamlabs chatbot. Would have won that one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, sure. One more. One more for old time's sake. Probably just gonna take a random common relic, because I don't think the other options are very good. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna go an hour. I'm doing this on the assumption that I'm probably going to lose somewhere in Act 2, which seems to be the place I most often die. I might have to... I might just cut it at the end of Act 1 regardless. Of whether we're losing or winning. Hmm. I like a this path. Three bonfires, two elites. Option for a super elite. Excuse me. Yeah. What do we get? Orange Halcom? Not bad. Cannot complain too much. Or at all, even. It's just a solid relic. Works particularly good with Metallicize and Frost Orbs, but we don't have Frost Orbs, so that's not... Neither here nor there. Bleh. Maybe I should have just taken six and bashed him. 
Maybe. Who knows? God damn it. <sighs> Trying to end turn, but like my right eye is also itching. Yeah, you missed a couple letters in there, Junior Link. Woo! Oh. My top eyelid was like being weird and flipping inside out. It was not uh it was not an ideal situation. Alright. Yeah, I'll take an uppercut. We've successfully demolished and consumed the jaw worm. Probably just remove strike, right? Yeah. I could upgrade the bash and uppercut before we get up here. But I think just upgrading the uppercut is fine. Along with the card remove, I get to see it more often. Well, I can kill this one. Yeah. What am I doing? Being an idiot. There's what I always forget. I always forget about Orichalcum. Orichalcum and Spinning Top. They just go in the memory hole. Might be a little early for a Shock Wave. What about a Pommel Strike? Eh, I'll skip it. What have ye? Card remove opportunity. Maybe I should have taken the... Uh... Pommel strike. I couldn't remember what the card was. I was like, what card did I see? <sighs> yeah, that's because just like removing the strike is often better. Hey, Lomp J, how's it going? Which potion do I want? It's either attack or explosion. I feel like this deck is already pretty good at a single target. I'll take an explosion potion. Then again, I'm also more likely to fight an elite with one target than with multiples. But I can still be handy in some hallway fights, particularly against Quad Gremlin or Quintuple uh, Slime. Okay, pretty good start. Or Chalcom's also going to be pretty good in this fight. Great uppercut. I'm doing pretty good. You certainly like those, uh, those emotes, I see. No clue where one would get emotes like that. No siree. Got a free runic dodecahedron. Here we go, twin strike. Just one more damage than pommel strike, doesn't draw a card. Scales better with strength. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. We could nap and like turn on Ronic, Ronic do decahedron, Runic do decahedron, but that seems wasteful, especially when there's a perfectly good bash upgrade. All right. I'll take home memory. It's early act one. We can still see some stuff. Yeah, we'll just wake him up now. Again, Orchalcum. Orchalcum's really good in all of the elite fights in this act. Let's go ham. I couldn't have blocked for more that turn anyway, so... What am I looking at next turn? Uppercut Twin Strike? How much damage is that? That's gonna be... 19... Plus 14... 33? Alright. You can type exclamation point, Omomori, and Spirebot will tell you. Yeah, that's a perfectly reasonable amount of HP. Generally against Lagavulin, you want him to be at half or less health by the time he puts his first Siphon Soul on you. You've got too many Omomos. Omomori. Oh, sorry, it's Oma Mori. The middle vowel is an A. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I suppose I could have just told you. You tried so hard. Yeah, you notice it's got a little counter there. 8 damage plus 6 damage is not lethal. He's not attacking me next turn. So I may as well spend 3 energy for 3 block. Neat. Yeah, because I got a pretty good chance of killing him across the next two turns anyway. Bag of Marbles is not bad. Don't think I'm going to take the Barricade. What about a Thunderclap? We've already got a lot of Vulnerable in the deck. Thunderclap is AoE artifact removal though. And it costs one energy. It's just very good for like keeping the vulnerable on. Um, this takes me up to 59 health. I've got two good potions. I think we just go for the super elite. Regenerating Gremlin Knob. He's not regenerating a lot though. Yeah, I can regenerate too, asshole. What do you think of that? Thunderclap is a bad STDE. I don't even <laughs> what? I don't even get what you're trying to say. That's what happens, Danerdling. The clap? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that in my life. The clap? I don't even want to know. Don't tell me. Please don't type it in chat. I'm curious, but not that curious. Is there any reason to headbutt? Am I clapping? Yeah, I don't think I have it. Mm, I'm not interested in any of these cards. Alright, well, we're pretty well suited for fighting the Guardian, because you don't need a very strong deck to fight the Guardian, and we have a not very strong deck. It's coming out. Jalden. Jalden coming out asking the real questions. Is it Chlamydia? Man, a paper frog would be pretty sick. I think paper frog's like a rare relic. Like, I think it's actually quite hard to get a hold of. Which is unfortunate because we got vulnerable for days. Yeah! Got him. Alright, well, Runic Dodecahedron is activated. Feel free to Google it amongst yourselves. Please don't put it in chat. Let let people sate their own curiosity. Centennial Puzzle is fantastic. Let's upgrade Twin Strike. Would have been nice to like have gotten like a power, like a good power to put in the deck, but Oh, I thought that was Omomori that activated us. Oh, it's Runic to Dodecahedron. Gotcha. They, they, they put, like, a big effect on that Dodecahedron at the start of the fight, like, probably because they don't expect it to be active for very often, so they're just going to make real super sure. Oh, I probably wanted to wait for Uppercut. Yeah. All right, well, turned off the Runic Dodecahedron and Centennial Puzzle. I'm good at this video game. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. No longer we can still vulnerable draw uppercut. Draw uppercut. Shazam. It's not really any good reason to play defend here. Or thunderclap. He's vulnerable for five turns. It's only gonna. He's only going to become more vulnerable as the fight goes on. Yeah. Like that. Uh, maybe I should have done those in the opposite order. Wasn't even paying attention to where his health and stuff were at. Did I just, like, take one? Sure. <laughs> Ten minutes to activate a voice spot. Yeah, no. No. I'd come out there and slap you myself. Well, this is no good. He's not weak anymore. Who allowed this to happen? I'm blaming Janerdling.
Loopin' and poopin'. I don't know why that's one of my favorite quotes. It's just so stupid. It had to do with the defect power loop. I remember that much. Wow, you're just being a big meanie wiener. Well, guess what I can do. <laughs> Whoa. It didn't play the audio. I wonder if there's like like a global Oh there it goes. The clap is the powerhouse of the cell. Thank you very much, Daniel Link. But I know for a fact that's the mitochondria. I learned that from Parasite Eve. That was weird. I thought I thought maybe. I thought maybe Streamlabs had like a global uh like blacklist of phrases. And maybe the clap was one of them. Oh, if I punch him, I take 4 damage, but he loses 4 damage, and he loses damage next turn, and also, Pennib is active. Can I just kill him? 39, no. <laughs> I did not. It, I don't know that the alert is happening until the second the audio and the visuals start going. So it's like, I'd have to be... Super quick. Um, alright, what am I doing? Taking six? Sure. Let's be weenies. I certainly did take a lot of damage in this fight. Can I just split him right now? Not really. God damn it. Wow, he actually became no longer vulnerable. Crazy. Alright, well, he should be dead next turn. Yeah, I probably took way more damage than I ought to have. Probably because my deck was terrible. Probably because my deck was terrible. I have no way of, like... Consistently getting feed into play. On the other hand, I've got a lot of vulnerable. I was offering to get cards into play. I have no cards to get into play. Just take feed and hope for the best. Alright. I don't know if snack away is the best. Like, on the plus side, I get to see feed more often. On the minus side... Uh, feed can be a random cost. On the plus side, some of the best attacks in the deck already cost two. On the minus side, the other thing I already said about feed, sometimes not always costing one. Sometimes not always costing one. I think I still just take the snack away. There's just a lot of strong cards that Ironclad has with it. There's Pandora's box. I already have Orichalcum. That's already blocking better than our defense are anyway. No, not next to a snack away. Alright, well, I think I'm going to call it there. So thank you for joining me. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. I'm just going to wait for the horse to this. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1am to 3am Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately 22 hours from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing... Actually, we won't be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. At that time, we'll be continuing our eventually ending quest to cosplay kill every enemy in Dark Souls. If you're only interested in the Slay the Spire playthrough, then I'm afraid you'll have to come back the night after. Uh, which is... So the next stream... Did I already say it was 22 hours from now? Because that's a lie. Because I'm stopping later. It's like 20... 20 hours... 20 hours and 40 minutes from right now is Dark Souls. And then 24 hours after that, we go back to Slay the Spire, as we do every week. Um, feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. Um, you can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other things I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute linked down below. We're going to go raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thank you for joining me, and have a good night.